Good morning, Liberty family. I hope you guys are blessed. I'm Pastor Russell. And I'm Pastor Latoya. And we're here to do the Daily Devotional Dialogue. Um, we'll be going over today, James 4. And Proverbs 21. Proverbs 21. So let's just go ahead and dive right into it. Um, James is a straight shooter. He is the kind of preacher that I kind of like, you know, and he just gives it to you straight. No, don't pull any punches. And um, when I was reading chapter four, it is just the same. He stays in that same vein. And he starts out with, with uh, chap verse one, and it says, what causes fights and quarrels among you? Mm -hmm. And he goes on to talk about the things that causes us to fight and quarrel are our evil desires. Basically, we desire things and we can't have them. So we, you know, fight and quarrel and so forth and so on. But he goes on to four and he says, you adulterous people. You don't know that mm. friendship with the world means enmity against God. And I was like, whoa, mm. enmity against God. That means enemy, I believe. And so I got looked at it, looked up some synonyms, and it was hostility, animosity, mm. deep-seated dislike, ill will, derived from the word enemy, which is what I thought. But it says true hatred, either overt or concealed. And I was wow. like... Wow. That against God. So when I'm arguing mm -hmm. with a fellow believer, mm -hmm. I means I'm an enemy of God. That means I have deep seated hatred for God. Mm. And I was like, no, that is not where I want to be. So what I realized and what I got out of that was when we argue and fight, when I, this is me personally, I obviously don't fear God enough. Because if I really feared God enough, I would know. And I've read the word and I've, I've, I've gone through the Old Testament several times, mm -hmm. and I know what he does to his enemies. Right. He destroys them. Yeah. He makes their life miserable. <laughs> and then they go to hell on top of that. So I'm thinking, I'm not going to be an enemy of God, but it's because I have a point to make. You know, I said that, you know, that can't happen. And God, um, he quotes also, James, I'll quote, um, God opposes the pride, quotes proverb, God opposes the proud, but shows favor to mm -hmm. the humble. Mm -hmm. And so it goes on to seven and he gives us a way out. Praise God. Mm -hmm. He says, submit yourselves then to God, mm -hmm. resist the devil mm -hmm. and he will flee from you. Mm -hmm. He said, come near to God and he will come near to you. Yeah. What an incredible, that is an just submit yourself to God. Be humble mm -hmm. and submit yourself to God. Resist the devil. Resist that temptation to fight and argue. And just draw near to God. Mm -hmm. And he will draw near to you. Mm -hmm. And I know for the fact God will change your heart and get your mind right and so forth and so on. And the devil will flee. Mm -hmm. Thank God for a way out. Mm -hmm. But we don't want to be enemies of God. And we don't want to go to hell. And we don't want to go to hell. So <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> we talked about going to hell the last time we did so. Listen, man, all I'm trying to do is stay out of hell. I don't want to go to hell and love the Lord and okay. love people. Well, so, bless. All right, let's God. talk about Proverbs. Okay, so Proverbs <laughs> 31 um, is um, really good. I've been reading really out of um, my leadership Bible. And so there's just a leadership lens in even the verses or some of the commentary, mm -hmm. you know, when it's, um, you know, as you're studying. And so um, Proverbs 21, 1 was actually the verse that stood out um, to me. And in the Message Bible, it reads, good leadership is a channel of water controlled by God. Amen. He directs it Amen. to whatever end he chooses. And so I, I think first, you know, it's important to acknowledge, you know, while this verse is talking about leaders, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes we're quick to dismiss ourselves as leaders because we don't have a certain role or a certain title. Mm -hmm. um, but I think it's important to state that we are all leaders. It doesn't um, matter really what your role is. Right. Um, you could be a parent. You could be a teacher, you could be a VP of a company, you could be a real estate agent, you know, an entrepreneur. You are still a leader, right? Um, and this verse is specifically talking about good leadership, so right. not any leader. Um, and it's just giving us guidance, really, mm -hmm. um, for what that means. So um, as a good leader, it says good leadership is a channel of water controlled by God. So yeah. there's an acknowledgement there. Um, number one, that while as a leader, you might be in charge of something, mm -hmm. you also acknowledge and recognize that God is the one who is ultimately in control. And 
um, there is a distinct difference, right? Mm -hmm. um, if we're in charge um, and, our, and our heart is in, in God's you know, hands mm -hmm. and we are striving to be good leaders, we know that there is limitation. There is an end to what we're able to do, even right. to the outcome of whatever we're seeking to achieve. Right. Um, and so with that, um, because we understand that control by God, we're also saying that, Lord, I submit to you. Amen. Um, Amen. And as we do that, um, it, it allows Christ really to work in us. Mm -hmm. But more importantly, it allows Christ to work through us. The last Amen. part of that verse says, he directs it to whatever end yes, he chooses. Yeah. And so I just want to encourage you, wherever you are, whatever role you are in as a leader, and I am calling each and every one of you a leader, that number one, um, my heart would be that you would desire to be a good leader. Um, and what that means is that you desire to acknowledge that, Lord, you are in control. Um, I have limitations as a leader, but at the end of the day, I do want you to be the one to guide and to determine the end results. Um, so Amen. be encouraged today. Be encouraged. Um, we love you. Thank you so much um, for giving us this time. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. God bless. God bless.